Welcome to the latest episode of Eternal 101. This is episode two on trainer cards. Many of you are probably thinking, dude, I know what trainer cards are. I don't, I don't need this primer. This is useless. You might actually be surprised. Trainer cards have shifted around a bit over the course of the book one trading card game, and they aren't always quite as straightforward as they are today. So we're going to go over some of the nuances that we have in trainer cards and how they're used, how they're addressed how they've kind of evolved over the course of the Pokemon trading card game. In short, the trainer cards can get a little complicated. So most of that is down to Pokemon deciding they're changing up how trainer cards are divided or subdivided and all that such. So we're going to start with the most basic, most obvious one for people that have been playing the trading card game recently. So as of Scarlet and Violet base set, we have the Pokemon Tula Rata, right? Pokemon tool cards are no longer considered a subtype of item cards. They are their own category, their own subtype of trainer card. So Pokemon tool cards are you know, it's a trainer card and then a Pokemon tool card second. This is a change, a pretty dramatic change because this is basically since black and white base set, Pokemon tool cards have been item cards, right? There's something you could get prior to the Errata in the Scarlet and Violet base set, a card like Irida from Astral Radiance, could find Choice Belt because it was an item card. Now with this errata, as you see the new version of Choice Belt from Scarlet and Violet's Paldea Evolved expansion, there's no item anywhere in that text because it's only a Pokemon tool card now. And that's a great example of a card that exists in both the before and after for this errata. But that errata again was officially released or was officially announced and released for Scarlet and Violet's expansion. And when Scarlet and Violet became legal as a set, that errata went into effect and affected trainer cards throughout. Now, this is hardly the first time that trainer cards have been changed in the TCG, and we're going to look first at a card that is very important for helping us understand how tool cards, item cards, etc., are understood in the TCG, and that's actually this vile plume here. We're also going to look at another vile plume in a little bit, a couple other vile plumes, in fact. Vile plume sure has a lot to do with trainer cards. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this Vile Plume from Ancient Origins has the ability Irritating Pollen, which says each player can't play any item cards from their hand. Cool. Whatever. That's whatever. We understand Vile Plume says we can't play any item cards. However, let's look first at cards that are a little bit older. So you'll notice these three cards here, they're all from base set, and not a single one of them specifies what type of trainer card they are, right? They're all old, obviously. Other than being old, we have no idea what they are. On the card, at least, they're not designated item, tool, stadium, or supporter card. That's just not on the card. This is from a time before those type of designations existed. So speaking of which, item cards were originally introduced in black and white base set. Yes, I know that feels crazy that it's that recently, but it is that recently. They were introduced a little bit earlier in Japan. They came out in heart, gold, and soul silver in Japan, but for us internationally, they came out in black and white base set. Stadium cards were first introduced in Gym Heroes back in August of 2000. Supporter cards were first introduced in Expedition Base Set in September of 2002. And Pokemon Tool cards were introduced originally in Neo Genesis, that's December of 2000, became a subtype of item card in Black and White Base Set. And then, of course, as we just saw, they became their own subtype of trainer card as of Scarlet and Violet Base Set in March of 2023. So then, since there are many different subtypes, but they didn't exist early on in the TCG, we have to understand what the heck do we do with these? How do we understand these cards? So we have a compendium ruling here with regard to Karina. Karina is a card very similar to Irida. It says, in the unlimited format, can I use Karina to get, rid get old trainer cards like Professor Oak, Item Finder, etc.? Yes, if a card is not designated a supporter or stadium card and with the new ruling, Pokemon tool card, it would be considered an item card by a new card effect. Now, of course, a new card effect in this case is going to mean something like Irida or Karina, right? So in this case, yes, we will have the ability to get these old trainer cards with something like Karina. So this is important to note that anything, again, this ruling is really important, anything that is a trainer card, but is not designated a supporter item or Pokemon tool card, it's an item card. So then we can look at these cards and I, I kind of added the text in there to make it more obvious. All three of these cards are treated as item cards, right? 
That is why two of the three of these on this list are banned in the eternal format because they are so insanely strong. Oak has the same effect as Professor's Research, except it is an item card. And that has not changed because there is no new legal print of Oak that has changed its designation to a supporter card. I kind of doubt there will be. Do keep in mind that some older cards have been reprinted with a new trainer subtype designation. For example, our friend Bill here. So in base set originally, Bill was an item card or effectively an item card. And he is now a supporter card because of a print he had in heart gold and soul silver. Now for the confusing parts. Let's look at generation four. We ha we thought we had it covered, right? Okay, old cards that aren't called something specific, they're items, no big deal. And we know the whole thing about tools already, whatever. Okay, now it's time for us to look at generation four because this is where everything gets confusing. This is where Pokemon was trying to figure out what the heck they were doing with these cards. And it kind of shows because they mix stuff up a bit. Let's look at this vile plume. This is a vile plume from Undaunted. We're gonna look at the Poke body on this vile plume. It says each player can't play trainer cards from their hand. Now, a modern player looking at this card that did not play or is not familiar with this era will go, holy crap, this vile plume is broken. I can't play any stadium cards, supporter cards, item cards, or tool cards from my hand. However, if you are familiar with the era, you will know that in fact that is not the case. And despite there being a little difference in the fact that one's a Pokemon body and one's an ability, these two Vile Plume do exactly the same thing. In both cases, they're just shutting off your ability to use item cards. Because during Generation 4, there was no item card designation. They were trainer cards. Now, by contrast, the band Dark Vileplume has Hay Fever, which is a Pokemon power that says no trainer cards can be played. In this case, because this was printed before Generation 4, it does in fact hit all subtypes of trainer cards. Now, the same thing applies to things after Generation 4, right? So from Gen 5 onward, if it says no trainer cards, then it means actually no trainer cards as we would understand them today. However, Generation 4 is unique in that, like this vile plume, when it says trainer cards, we have to understand that it actually means item cards. So again, these two in this case are not the same thing. They, they both say trainer cards, but they do very different things. Dark Vile Plume is significantly more oppressive than our, our little friend Vile Plume over here from Undaunted. So in Generation 4, there was no trainer card super category. Now we kind of understand trainer cards as being like the main category, and there are four subcategories in that main category, right? That kind of thing didn't exist back in Generation 4. We had Trainer Trainer, Supporter Supporter, Stadium Stadium. It was a Supporter card, it was a Trainer card, it was a Stadium card, that's how it worked. Now these Trainer cards are considered item cards, right? So if you've seen a newer print of Energy Search, you'll notice that it says item card, but the main type of card back then was just Trainer Trainer. Now it'd be Trainer with a subtype of item card. Now, because there was no like trainer super category, you get some really awkward wording on cards like Marley's Request, where it has to specify each type of trainer card as we would understand it today, separately, despite that being the only ones that existed back then. So you'd see, search your discard pile for two trainer, supporter, or stadium cards, show them to your opponent, and blah, 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 right? Now we would just say, search your discard pile for two trainer cards, show them to your point, but it would cut out the other stuff because it just means everything, right? Of course, now because of the specific wording and no errata, this card can't find tool cards, but that's another story. Anyway, this does make for some awkward wording from this generation because it has to list out each type of trainer card as we understand it today. So with this in mind, let's look at Badoo's errand running attack. So Badoo has an attack that can be used for no energy called errand running. It says, search your deck for a trainer card, show it to your opponent and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck afterward. So after everything we've just learned, we can take a look at this Badoo. This is from generation four. This is from Diamond and Pearl Great Encounters. And we can understand that this Badoo, specifically when it says trainer card, it means we want a 
item card, right? Item is what we're looking for here. So Badoo would in fact be able to find earthen vessel. It can find it. So we know for a fact, yes, that's possible. Badoo can find earthen vessel. That is the thing it can do. So then we look at our next example, Verbank City Gym. Now it says trainer card on this card, right? However, we understand because Badoo is a card from generation four from the diamond and pearl block, trainer card in this case means an item card. So we also know that means we cannot find Verbank City Gym with Badoo's errand running because we understand trainer card in this case means an item card. Now let's extend that to something else that we've learned. This Pokemon flute card from base set, can errand running find this Pokemon flute card? Now it says trainer card. This is a trainer card. But as we've also learned earlier, these old cards that have not been reprinted are treated like item cards, right? So in this case, we understand generation four when it says trainer card to be referring to item cards. And we also understand that these cards that were printed before the item card designation and are not otherwise classified as supporter, stadium, or Pokemon tool, we understand they are item cards. So yes, in this case, Badoo can find Pokemon Flute because it's basically an item card, and Badoo is looking for item cards. All right, now for one last little thing, this one doesn't pop up very often, but it's worth noting just kind of as an afterthought, Techno Machine cards. Now, Scarlet and Violet has kind of sort of reintroduced the whole technical machine in the TCG idea, and we've seen some cards just like that, right? So in Generation 9, the Scarlet and Violet technical machine cards are Pokemon tool cards with technical machine in their name. So our example here is Technical Machine Devolution. That is a card that definitely sees play. It's a great card. It sees play in Eternal and in Standard. However, there was once a subcategory of cards called Technical Machines. These were trainer cards that had the subtype Technical Machine. So in this case, how do we treat these guys? Now, as we said earlier, they're just like item cards, right? They are not designated as a supporter, stadium, or Pokemon tool. Therefore, they must be treated as an item card. Now, they act a lot like Pokemon tool cards. They are not Pokemon tool cards, and that's very important because cards that search for Pokemon tool cards can find technical machine devolution but they cannot find Advanced Technical Machine Rock, right? So as it says here, although the older Technical Machine cards act a lot like Pokemon Tool cards, they are treated like item cards and can be searched out as such. So Irida could find Advanced Technical Machine Rock, but it could not find Technical Machine Devolution. And again, by contrast, these new Technical Machine cards are Pokemon Tool cards and are searched out in that way. So there's an upcoming card as of the recording of this video called TM Machine. It says search your deck for up to three Pokemon tool cards with technical machine in their name, reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So in this case, TM Machine can find technical machine devolution, but because ancient technical machine rock is not a Pokemon tool card, it is not able to find ancient technical machine rock. So that is an interesting little distinction to be aware of there. Anyway, that is a lot of speaking to cover what is honestly not that huge of a topic, but it's something that can get really confusing when you're jumping into the eternal format for the first time, or if you're jumping for the first time into the unlimited format. But hopefully my little breakdown of how trainer cards have worked helps to kind of make everything a little bit easier to understand. And hopefully now that you kind of understand it, you can jump into the eternal format and enjoy it a lot more. Definitely check out my Discord if you are not already part of the Discord. The Eternal format is huge there. Very, very fun format to play. Definitely join us. We're gonna have a fun, fun time. But that is gonna be it for me today. Uh, hopefully you all understood everything I said. Hopefully this wasn't just too rambly. And I will see you guys in the next one.